friends, it's Terry Stewart, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Welcome to day three of my virtual open house where I'm sharing the making takes that I had at my in-person event uh, this past Saturday. So these making takes feature products found in both the new mini holiday catalog and or with also with the celebration. So making takes have both products in today's product uh, the today's make and take only has products from the mini so let's get started I'm going to turn the camera if you get sick look away because it's moving and you will see my big light my ceiling maybe my head as I push my big head in here let's see okay well, let's get the camera to turn around there we go okay let me move this down I think that's good and then I'm gonna try to see myself on my uh, computer in case somebody pops in here and wants to say hey to me there I am all right so let me turn that down okay good all right somebody's saying hi whoever it is welcome so this is the card and it features the splendid day uh, stamp set and the splendid day DSP and this all comes from the the suite, so the ribbons included. The only thing that's not on this card is uh, die cuts. I didn't do any die cuts, so this is a very quick and easy card. And on the inside, I just stamped a uh, small image. So let me bring in my kit, and that each of um, people who came to my open house got these kits. And so we have a soft sea foam card base. And if you go to my blog at stampinghair.blogspot.com, I have all the measurements. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, check the description below, and there's a link to the blog where you can get the measurements. So we have a uh, half sheet of cardstock, and it's folded in half. And then we have a piece of pool party. And then we have a piece of the Splendid Day uh, DSP. And this DSP is amazing because now this one has like white embossing on it. It comes that way. It's a specialty DSP. The other papers, let me bring those in. Well, okay. So we have DSP, we have Pool Party, and we have a piece of white. So um, that's what's going to go together on our card. Let me show you the DSP because I love this DSP and it is a specialty DSP. So these patterns on one side they have foil. So this one is like embossed in white but the other ones are all foil and they're gorgeous. Gorgeous silver and pinks and coppery tones. I think they call this Calypso Coral but to me it looks like copper. And uh, they're just beautiful, beautiful patterns. This one's kind of got, it's foiled, but it's a soft sea foam color. And that copper. Then on the other side, they have patterns, more floral with uh, leaves and uh, clubs of coral. This one has a kind of a leaf pattern, a different leaf pattern, and that's soft sea foam. Got some fresh freesia. You have some very neutrals. Uh, some more calypso coral, kind of ombre. So yeah, beautiful paper. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's go find that up. All right, so here's the stamp set, Splendid Thoughts, and it's in that splendid day. Ooh, I got something dirty on my. I didn't wipe that up with my chamois. There we go. So this is the stamp set, Splendid Thoughts, and it has these kind of leafy elements, and then it has some beautiful fonts, and you know I like fonts that have the print and the handwriting, uh, so it's very versatile. And surprisingly enough, it is in the holiday catalog, which, which we call the mini, the July to December mini. We call it a holiday catalog, has a lot lot of holiday products but this suite is in there and it really is not what you would think as a fall holiday so uh, there's more in the catalog than just holidays 
So for stamping, we're going to start with this piece and then we'll do our base and then we'll do the inside. So um, we're using this stamp, this outlined lined image, and then we'll fill it in with this. Now they do not exactly match. So it's more of an artsy look. Even when you take this, these petals for this element, they will not match exactly. It's more of an artsy um, expression. So I hope you're okay with that. So this stamp and then this stamp. So, and then my soft sea foam ink. And I love the soft sea foam. It's, it's kind of a pastel color. And I like that. And it goes well with a lot of things. And um, even though it's pastel, you can use it for holidays. So I'm going to stamp my outline image there. i set that aside because I'm going to use that again. And I'll bring my, my, uh, I have to wipe that off a little bit. Okay. Uh, ink this up. And like I said, it will, it won't entirely match the leaves. So you just have to accept that it's going to be off center because they will not line up. But it gives it an artsy look, which I kind of like. And then the last little thing we're going to do with this is this little bee he's so darn cute and I just love him I thought so he uh, here I am stamping him in um, soft sea foam I can contemplated stamping him in um, pool party but in the end I left it soft sea foam because I just like it that way so now we're going to set this aside and bring in our card base and I'm going to stamp right here on the edge. You can see I've done this lined outline, outlined image that's outlined. I just stamped it right on the edge. Now, I do need a piece of scrap paper because I don't like to mess up my pristine work area. So I got this flyer that came in elections here. Um, last week so this is a flyer that came to my house and I'm just using it um, as a scrap paper and I'm just going to stamp this image on the side so it's just giving a little detail on the front and you really don't uh, see it you know, the whole leaf, you just see a little bit of it, and I think it just adds a little detail. There, I spared my workspace. And get rid of the that, and then I'm going to stamp this image uh, on the inside. And I could stamp a sentiment in here, or a greeting, or I could write a hen written note and I'll probably just put a handwritten note in there and then we're going to bring back this piece and the last thing we're going to stamp is one of the sentiments and um I have let's celebrate but I think I'm going to change this one up and do sending hugs so let me grab that and a block so just um, changing up a bit not a lot there's just so many uh, great fonts and sayings in this set and I just wanted something a little different perfect okay and now we can start assembling so the first thing I'm going to do is put my layer on and I've just cut this a smidge bigger than my pool party layer so I hope you're enjoying my make it takes I have uh, two more days tomorrow and Friday and that will conclude my make and takes 
Uh, but I have some other ideas. So I'll be uh, doing popping on here next week with some um, other projects I'm working on. Uh, so we get that done. And then we can put our DSP right here. And I'm leaving a little border uh, against the scored edge. And I did stamp these images to kind of pick up some of this uh, pattern. You can see the other side's got these beautiful um, speckles or almost like a bokeh pattern, which is a, I think a pho photography where it's a little out of focus. And I don't think that this has an up or a down. These vines seem to be going every which way. But there is a little ladybug, so I'm going to put the little ladybug going up in the corner. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I just realized I forgot to stamp on my envelope. So I'm going to bring in my soft sea foam and ink this up. And just put this on the front. Just finishes it off, I feel. And I like that. I like that a lot. And now the next. Thing is this ribbon so this is seam binding ribbon and soft sea foam and it is a part of the splendid day suite and it's just it's kind of satiny it's got this nice sheen to it but then you can see through it too so it's got a lot of um, a lot of pluses and I'm really loving it and I'm just going to tie a knot here on the front of this piece, focal piece. And when, let's see how, I, I usually don't cut my ribbon off the roll because I either cut it way too short or way too long. So for me, I just tie it right off the roll and it seems to work for me that way. I got a little glue on my fingers. The ribbon is sticking to my thumb. All right, and we can slide that down a bit. I'll just take my curl it up a little, curl the cardstock up a little bit, a little bit, and pull this down. All right, and then with my snips, I'll snip. So now I'll snip it off the roll. Let's see. nice and we can adhere that to our card front uh, like that so I do like the Tombow glue because it gives you a little bit of playing if you put it down wrong you uh, have a little bit of window where you can pull it up to uh, straighten it up I'm going to try to get the same amount of space top, bottom, right, left. There we go. And so this is a card I didn't use dimensionals on. I don't make too many cards like that. So a unique card. And there you have it. So uh, sending hugs or let's celebrate. Move that up just a pitch. There we go. Either way, I think it's beautiful. And I was going to bring in the catalog and show you where to find this beautiful set. So this is from the mini catalog. Uh, and as I was saying, the mini catalog has more than just Christmas. It does have Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, um, but it has more. So I was going to show you do a quick tour so there are several suites um, and in the front of it is the catalog towards the front are the holiday Christmas suites so we have the sweetest Christmas which is candy canes red and green traditional uh, Christmas 
that was on page 8 and 9. And then on page 16 and 17, another Christmas, but um, with Santa and train. This is Santa's Express. So while it does have um, Poppy Parade and some traditional greens, that Poppy Parade is more, it's not a real red, it's more of an orangey red. Um, but definitely a Christmas theme. And then we move on to page 25, which is probably my favorite, is the Boughs of Holly. And this really is uh, Christmassy. It not only has holly, it has poinsettias, beautiful Christmas colors and elements. And then we go to page 31, which is Lights Aglow, and another... Um, kind of elegant uh, Christmas. You got reds and greens, cherry cobbler, and some gold elements, and the glimmer paper that I used on yesterday, actually, in yesterday's. So that's beautiful. I love these dots. This is my favorite ribbon, and I can't wait to do more with this glimmer paper. And then page 43. Now this is where we're getting a little bit away from Christmas. So this is a storybook gnomes and it's more, more, I think, focuses on winter and snow. And then you have these gnomes and it says your kindness does not go unnoticed. You know me so well, warm wishes. And they have one Christmas, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. So we're getting away from Christmas and more, maybe just winter. And that's on page 43. And then we move on to the Rustic Harvest, which is the fall, and that's the uh, Make and Take we did yesterday, where I showed you the beautiful paper that I love, and this embossing kit. Oh, I can't wait, can't wait to get that. And I think if I take the page, so we talked about Thanksgiving uh, yesterday, and in this Gingham Cottage, more um, more products that aren't so focused on Christmas and maybe not so much on the fall. You know, it does say hello, grateful, boo, and Merry Christmas, and some people just make life better. So it has these wreaths, which really are um, versatile. It doesn't have to be holiday centric. And I think if I turn the page, this is where the no, now we're going to go all the way here to 64, page 64, and this is where the Splendid Day Suite is. And you can see these soft pastels, just beautiful. And we find the Splendid Thought stamp set, uh, these trinkets, open leaf trinkets that coordinate with this uh, suite. The ribbon that we use, that it does not do it justice here. And of course, this beautiful Splendid Day specialty paper with the foils and the white embossing. So that is, I mean, and there's more, but I just wanted to highlight um, that this catalog has more than just uh, Christmas in it. The other thing I wanted to show is, this is in the front on page five, making a difference. So this kit, Nourish and Flourish kit, if you purchase this, $3 is contributed to organizations working to end food insecurity. So you get a lunch bag and a card making kit. And this card making kit um, is really for any level of crafter. There's no stamping involved. It's more assembling. It's all occasions where you can see um, for just so lucky. I'm just so lucky to know you, uh, appreciate you more than you know. So, and this one's just saying hello. So you might want to take a look at that um, if you're looking for a gift for somebody or just want to uh, make the kit for yourself and have this really cute lunch box. So for today, that's all I have for you. Uh, check out my blog. There's more details about this card and the other make and takes, and I'll be back tomorrow at 4 o'clock with another make and take that is also not a holiday make and take, uh, but it focuses on products from the Celebration Catalog. 
So until then, remember, stamping is fun. Bye.